Hey guys, welcome to this lesson on Helium 10's portals. So today we're gonna to go through the portals functionality. I'm gonna show you how to set up a QR code through a product insert and also a landing page on the Helium 10 platform, which you can integrate with your product insert and listing on Amazon so that when customers receive your product, they can scan a QR code for an incentive like a warranty or a free gift, for example. And that then flows through to your landing page where you can actually collect emails through the Helium 10 platform and also things like SMS, et cetera, for you then to use in your marketing campaigns and to build a, a list of customers that you can then use uh, for future product launches within your brand. So a really, really powerful tool. Um, and without further ado, let's get straight into it, right? So within portals, normally what you had to do before the latest update was go through to kind of set up your QR code, um, set up your product inserts, and then set up um, your landing page templates. But now they've put everything together in a new subset of the portals tool called blueprints. So all you want to do is go ahead, click blueprints there. And, and guys, just make sure you're in the portals uh, tool here. So you just see like portals from the toolbar. So once you're in here, They've got all these presets kind of already done for you. So what you want to do is you want to go on create new blueprint. Um, and then here you want to select one of these presets. Now you can edit these if you want to change it into uh, another function that you want to do, for example, free giveaway um, or, you know, a Father's Day discount or Christmas discount, etc. You can do all that. But, you know, I like to stick to, to these. So, for example, one of the most common ways of creating a, a portals flow through is warranty activation. So by offering extended warranty on a product, you're giving the customer extended warranty up to you know a year, six months, three months, however you want to play it in exchange for them giving you their contact details. So you're going to hit warranty activation. And this is what the workflow looks like. So customer orders the product. Uh, within the product is a product insert with warranty activation. That is activated through a QR code. The QR code links them to your landing page, which is your portal. Within there, there's warranty activation. They input their customer information and they have extended warranty. You have their information. So we're going to go ahead and create this. Let's hit create here. So the first thing to do is to create a product insert. Now, this normally is a nine inch by six inch um, just card. And they have some presets in here. So we can go ahead and select one. So what we're going to do is we want to so we want to design it so we want a nine by six inch um product insert looks good on a landscape we can do single or double sided i normally opt for double sided and i just do the same image on both sides so we hit save and continue and these are the templates that are offered now, what I recommend doing is picking a template which reflects your brand, you know, one that you can put your brand logo on uh, and also reflects your brand colors, et cetera. So, you know, let's just say I was selling a product aimed at children or females. I could pick this one and you can just preview it as well. So take advantage of your free extended warranty, provide more information here, <clears throat> provide more information here. So you'd put your information in these spots here. And then you can choose whether you want it portrait or landscape. I always just keep it landscape. Um, you can choose the size. So depending on what your supplier can do with a product insert card, I always choose nine by six inches because that's kind of standard. And then you can choose obviously double-sided or single-sided. So I think that one looks good. I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. I'm going to choose that. And then we're going to choose our QR code type. So I just keep this normally 2D. You can play around with this, but... Now, there's not a lot of rocket science that goes into QR codes. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this QR code here. So that looks good. Hit save and continue. And then design, right? So here's where you go in and design it. You can delete the Helium 10 presets. And you can go in and, and change that. So if you want to change the image, you can add a custom image. So I could go in there and I can upload you know, any of my images I've got there and change this text around. You know, if you want to do free, you know, three month extended warranty, you can put in the time period, you know, add all the information about your brand. You can even put in your social media information, like your, your Twitter page or your Instagram page, your TikTok page, etc. So you can fully customize this, uh, including the background colors as well. So you can absolutely change those colors 
into you know pretty much anything that you want. So this is the front side, this is the back side. Normally when I do double-sided product insert cards, I do the same for the front and the back. So I'd recommend that you guys do that as well. When you're happy with that, just hit save and finish. So we've set up our warranty activation product insert. We've set up our QR code now. That is linked, so we've got a URL for that. Now we're gonna set up our portal. So we're just gonna hit edit here. And this is actually our landing page. So now we're gonna set up our landing page. You can put any images that you want in here. So if you have any images that you specifically want, like your image of your product or image of your brand logo, you can put that in there. And once you've done that, you wanna hit save and continue. If you have any external tracking pixels, like Facebook pixel tracking, TikTok pixels, you can add them in here. Um, this would be applicable if you were running Facebook ads, Google ads, or TikTok ads to your landing page. Um, I'm not doing that at the moment, so I'm gonna ignore that. But if you do have that, make sure you add it in. If you have a custom domain as well, you can add that in here. So if you have a URL that you've paid for, you can add that in here so you can link your landing page to that URL. And in the next stage, we're gonna go through templates uh, and how we actually want our landing page to look. So I'm gonna go ahead, click save and continue. And these are template presets that they have for your landing page. You can go ahead here and select any of these. Uh, let's say, for example, you wanted to use this one as a preset. I always think you know dark colors looks good with warranty. Um, so preset is get covered under our free extended warranty. Our amazing products are backed by Ironclad Promise. Um, and then you can put your other text in here. But essentially what you're collecting is the first and last name of your customer plus their email address, which is um, what you want there. Once you've done that, you selected one that you like. So let's say I like this one, I'm gonna select this one. Now what you have is the ability to customize this. So I can change this. So if I wanted to do you know, free three month extended warranty, I can do that in here. So now I've, I've got that all in, I've got you know my text in here. Um, I can tell my customer story. I can say you know kind of more information about my warranty and what actually details. Maybe it's parts, maybe it's electrics, maybe it's the full, um, the full thing. So depending on what you wanna hold under warranty, you can add that information in here. Um, and then I can add, change this form as well. So if I wanted to add, you know, let's say I wanted to add a SMS or I wanted to collect customer numbers, I can add a, a form in here, add a field that actually collects um, the number as well. So if I wanted to do like an SMS campaign, I can do that as well. So that's your full customization there. Um, and then, you know, under this instinct, I'm only doing email collecting only. If you had like a freebie that you want to throw off, like a PDF attachment, you can add that in here or if you were doing like a code that you wanted to add, you can add that in here for a discount code for future purchases. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna hit save and finish. And then it's gonna ask me if I wanna publish this portal so it can be visited by others. Yes, if you don't activate this, your customer's not gonna be able to view your portal and submit their information. So you wanna activate that. So this is just warning me that I've got this lorem ipsum as a placeholder text, um, cause this is just a test. I don't care about that. So I'm gonna hit continue. And now my portal is up and running, so I can actually visit my portal now. So this is the URL, I can copy this URL, and I can actually head to this portal. And this is my warranty. So if I submit my information here, I can actually submit my contact information in return for extended warranty. And then if I was the customer and I had any, inf had any issues, sorry, with my product, I could then um, reach out and you know I'm covered under warranty for you know, three months or whatever. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty much Helium Ten Portals. There's a lot more you can do with it. You see, there's a lot more presets. This was specifically for warranty activation, but you can go ahead and do this for, like I said, coupon codes for um, freebies, like a free ebook, and you'll collect all these information here. So when an email is collected, you can see you will see it in um, in the numbers here. So that'll go from zero to one, and all your customer information will be here. So you can download all the information as a CSV file and then you know put them into your email marketing campaigns, put them into your email programs like um, GetResponse or um, ConvertKit. And you can you know start your email marketing campaigns and, and keep them up to date, keep them occupied, keep them in the loop with all the different things that are going on with your brand, especially if you're launching another product. It's really beneficial to use existing customers because if they've already bought one product from you and, and your new product's within the same brand, you have a ready set of warm leads who hopefully would buy again from you. And you can in incentivize them by offering coupons 
um, discounts, etc. So guys, that's um, Helium 10 portals. Um, it's not rocket science. It's a really good tool. Uh, it's free to use. Um, it's included within your Helium 10 package, so do make the most of it. And that's how you set up your product insert, QR code, and your landing page. So yeah, until next time, guys, take it easy.